I'm making corn chato. Chat. Start over. I'm making corn chowder. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love. Love. I need only you here with me. You wanna get close to me? Why don't you do it right now? We met for a reason, but you're trying to deny That we should be together, it's heavy weather We're heading for tonight You better take what you can, cause the time is right now I haven't been on here at all today Because I've been b bumming, bumming it mm. that's, what, that's what I've been doing Pretty much watching TikTok all day long <laughs> And the, oh, I colored outside because that kind of calms my nerves. So, I'm making dinner. Um, we're not going to eat it right now, but I am making dinner. So, we're going to have like those Purdue or their Tyson chicken, round chicken, breaded patty chicken sandwiches. Uh, well, chicken patties, and then we're going to make that into a sandwich. And we're having on the side of that, we are having, I'm making corn chato. Chat start over. I'm making corn chowder with it. So exciting. I've never made corn chowder before but I'm making it right now. I wish I had like you know like not canned corn. Like I wish I had corn on a cob but it's okay. I will make do with what I have. I'm looking for something. Um, it's okay. I don't have it. It's all good in the hood. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing, making corn chowder. I've got all my goodies here. I've got potatoes. I'm watching TikTok. Potatoes, onion, carrot. There's some fresh thyme from our garden that for some reason has been growing even all winter. I don't know why. Um, I've got some baking grease in here that I am going to saute up the onion, garlic, and carrot. And then I've got the corn back there. So, you know, corn chowder. So I'll show you kind of like the finished product because I can't do a blow by blow right now. I'm too tired. All right, so there it is. I have four bay leaves in there. So the potatoes have to cook. I cut them really, really small, like very small, like diced, very small. And so this is gonna cook for a little while. Then I'll make a small little roux with some gluten-free flour and some butter. I'll throw that in there to thicken it up and we'll eat later on. So it was pretty easy to make, I must say. All right, and here's dinner. Uh, Dana's corn chowder soup with some bacon and some cheese on the top. And this is a chicken sandwich with some lettuce and cheese on a lightly toasted 647 bread. Lightly toasted because we all know I don't like anything hard in my mouth. That's dinner. Good morning. Oh, disregard my... Oh god, did I really come on here looking like this? I did. She's eating, so it's gonna get loud. He's eating. Everybody's eating. Anyway, I'm gonna make some coffee and try not to put you so freaking close to my head. I don't know what kind of coffee I want. Do I want regular coffee? Do I want creme brulee? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have regular. Yep. Mm hmm. Anyway, so I didn't vlog much yesterday because yesterday was kind of like. I'm learning how to do nothing. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much how my therapist put it. I have to learn how to do nothing. It's very hard for me to to be that person, because I don't know how to do that. So, this is where I'm learning how to do that. So I'm learning how to do nothing. Oh, learning how to do nothing. It's not easy. At all, but 
We're learning. We're learning, we're learning. I got the coffee going over here. I should just light out. So, yeah. Let me open up the blind. It's so dark in here. Anyway, Sammy's about to leave for school in about 10 minutes. Eight minutes to be exact. And I did nothing yesterday. I mean, I did stuff. Okay, I made that soup. It was delicious, by the way. And then, I don't know. I, I did make us lunch. I made the kids dinner. I did those things. I fed the guinea pigs, I fed the animals. You know, it's not like I just lay there and did nothing. Literally zilch all day. No, I still did the things, the responsibilities that I have, but nothing extra. You know, so today, unfortunately, it's not gonna be that kind of a day because I actually have to clean all of the kid, the piggies' cages out, and that is a process of two hours. Feed them, give them fresh water, hay, pellets, fresh bedding, wash the old bedding, and then you know, do all the other things that I do. So here we are. I just wanted to say good morning, and my coffee is. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. It's 8.52 in the morning. Yes, 8.52. So in my food processor here, I have some beef that I just chopped up in like big cubes. And then we have some pork, uh, pork chops that are boneless and skin, uh, well, they're skinless. And I trim some of the fat off. So I'm making like a ground beef and pork mixture you know, kind of like a meatball mixture without the veal. I also have another big thing of pork here that I'm gonna cut up some for the kids so they can have a breaded pork chops later. And the rest is gonna go in the meatball mixture and I'm making Swedish meatballs, if you're wondering. So I ground up the beef and the pork. There's white meat and dark meat with the pork because if you use too much white, it's too dry use too much dark it's not for me so it's a mixture of both I added a half a packet of Lipton soup mix uh, the Lipton onion soup mix I added it to that I'm gonna add some more um, chopped onions in that like these let me show you Ugh. like I have these you can put like regular onion but I don't want to do that so yeah I told Arlo this is gonna be more like a Salisbury steak meatball kind of thing with like a nice brown um, gravy-ish brothy kind of thing you know like um, sauce instead of Swedish meatball but it's kind of going to resemble both to be honest so I'm going to add some of this as well just for some more onion all right I just flipped the meatballs I'm just kind of pan frying them in a little bit of olive oil and then once I make the gravy I'm going to just throw them in there and let them cook thoroughly through and yeah they're looking pretty good all right, so took the meatballs out. I made the gravy. This does require mushrooms, or you can put mushrooms in it, which I like, but we don't have any mushrooms, so it just has the onions. So I'm going to return the meatballs back to there and let it cook a little more so that this gets flavored with the meatballs. All right, this is lunch today. It's super simple. It's a chicken sandwich. I have it on a low-carb um, English muffin, some tater tots. That's just a serving, and some mayo and ketchup. All right, so I've got some food here. I don't even know if it's hot enough. I hope so. So my dad made chicken marsala for my mom for Valentine's Day, and so he had extra. So he sent me home with some. Ooh, and this is homemade pasta, by the way. That's exciting. I'm going to put it in a bowl, though. I'm hoping it's... I'm going to put it in there for another 30 seconds, but that's what I'm eating tonight, so it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. 